Okay, Papa, it's your turn. Is what this girl says to me when she walks up to me. And at that moment, I look over at her and I look over into the room and I saw that one of my buddies from back in high school was legit in the same room that she just came out of. And that's what I'm like, wait, my turn? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another embarrassing but really disgusting story. Like, no joke, if you guys don't have a strong stomach, you guys won't want to hear this. But the whole story starts back in high school, back in my grade 11 year. Now, in grade 11, I was a major player. I've said that many times on the channel, but if you guys are new, let me give a quick explanation that my grade 11 year and my grade 10 year especially, all I focused on was doing the devil's tango with multiple different women. It's actually kind of disgusting how high my body count was back when I was in high school, but no joke joke, it was one of the only things I felt I was good at, other than playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But I remember being such a player, my pool of women got shorter and shorter as the years went on. And the reason for this was because girls didn't want to be with another player or an F-boy is what they mostly called me back in high school. So only other girls that were also players would mostly want to be my sneaky link. And I remember one day when I was walking into my science class, out of nowhere, I ended up seeing a girl by the door. She was standing by the door looking really awkward, but when she looked at me, she instantly walked up to me. She walked up to me and pulled out her phone and said to me, hey, Bubba, I was just curious. Do you want to like, maybe like give me your number? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, who are you? And that's when she told me her name and then told me that she went to a school that was a private school for all girls. Now this private school she was talking about, I actually been to and I've done a lot of girls in there. So I guess she knew me already from the story times that I guess those girls have told about me doing the devil's tango with them and also sneaking into the school, which I have done a story on this channel if you guys want to go check it out. But I remember when she told me how she like basically heard of me and everything, I ended up saying to her, oh, well, I guess I'm pretty well known then, aren't I? Oh, well, more than you think, Baba, more than you think, but we should definitely link up sometime. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm totally down, just let me know when. And that's when this girl ends up walking away. When she walked away, I entered inside my science class and sat beside my buddy that I usually sit beside during science, and he looks over at me and says to me, yo, Bubba, who's that girl, bro? Like, she's kind of fine. Oh, uh, I don't know, to be honest, she just gave me her number and I'm not complaining. Nice, bro. Dude, I don't know, man, if I were you, I'd tap that real quick. Well, obviously, why else do you think I got her number for. At that moment, me and him just ended up saying some high school banter, if you guys understand what that means. And while one thing led to another, I ended up getting a text message right away. It was from the girl saying, hey, so like, one of my buddies is like having like a high school party, and like, I was just wondering, do you want to like maybe go? Oh, uh, who's hosting the party? Oh, it's a girl from my previous school, and like, she already knows of you apparently, so like, I think like, it would be super cool if you came, and like, bring a friend as well. There's gonna be a lot of girls there. At that moment, when I read this text, I ended up seeing my buddy actually looking over my shoulder, and looks at me saying, yo, Bubba, you gotta invite me, bro. Come on. I mean, yeah, do you wanna go? I don't mind. Yeah, 100%, man. Like, bring me. It's gonna be so lit. And at that moment, me and him just started talking about planning for the party that we were gonna go to that night. And well, boy, do I regret bringing him, because this guy really made some dumb decisions. Because that day after school, I went home and I ended up getting myself ready. I took a shower, prepared myself for the party, and wore a pretty basic outfit. And when I wore this outfit, I ended up driving to my buddy's house and picking him up. And what he was wearing was the most cringiest thing on the planet. Like, no joke he looked like a highlighter and it was actually really cringe the point where i looked at him and said yo bro we're going to an all girls party like just go back and change wear something more casual uh okay do you want to come in and help me what you want me to help you with your fit what do we look like girls just go in there wear something normal is what i told him and then he went back inside finally I ended up wearing a nice pair of jeans and a nice collared shirt and we ended up going to the party when we finally drove up to the party i parked in the driveway and instantly i saw a bunch of girls looking out the window i actually felt like the main character i'm not even gonna lie but when I came out of my car, a lot of girls recognized who I was, not only because my car was very iconic back in high school, because I had a Toyota Silica GT that was like a cool rapid blue, but also because a lot of girls in that school already knew me from doing the Duvel's Tango with them. And me knowing that I've done a lot of the girls in that party honestly kind of got me worried, not for me, of course, but for my buddy that I was bringing. So I remember I ended up pulling him aside and told him, yo, before we go in there, man, I just want to let you know a lot of these girls have already done, okay? So like, if you're interested in one of them let me know and like i can make it happen but if it's a girl that i've already done i'm gonna say this right now buddy you do not want to be sharing the same holes as me what why are you like sick or something no i'm just saying it's kind of disgusting and also it's kind of part of the bro code is what i told him and he ended up just shaking his head saying oh uh, okay yeah no we're not sharing the same girl done and me and him enter the party from there when we went inside the party we started instantly mingling with a bunch of different girls
girls and a lot of girls that I already recognized and did the Duvel's Tango with ended up walking up to me. They walked up to me saying, hey, Baba, oh my goodness, you're actually here. It's been so long. You never texted me back. Uh, yeah, I just been busy. Was my usual go-to reply when a girl says that. But other than that, I ended up just mingling and talking to more girls as the party started getting bigger and bigger. And this is where everything falls apart. Because I remember towards like the middle of the party, I want to say there was one girl that really caught my eye. She was a really hot blonde girl. And I remember walking up to her and I said to her, hey, like, I don't think we've met. Hi, my name is Bubba. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, you're friends with the host? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we go super way back. Oh, wait, seriously? Me too. Oh my goodness. I never heard of you. Yeah, I don't know. She likes to kiss me under the sheets, I guess. At that moment, me and her start laughing because I think that was a pretty good joke in my mind. But I don't know. To be honest, now that I think of it, it was pretty cringe. And well, one thing led to another, me and her actually ended up talking more, mingling, and we started making out at the party. And I remember as me and this girl were making out, I just see my buddy from the corner of my eye just looking at me and giving me a thumbs up when he saw my eyes were open kissing this girl. And that's when I looked over at him and said, yo, bro, like, just go somewhere else. Go get your own girl. Okay, is what he says. And he ends up walking around the party mingling with other women. As for me and this girl that I was talking to, well, she was really nice. And me and her, we actually ended up talking more and more. And funny enough, we ended up going into a room at the party. And yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Straight up, we ended up doing the duples tango. We got straight down to business. I don't know how it was so instant on the same night, but at the same time, it wasn't my first time doing a one night stand. Except, well, the ending part of a one night stand is when you actually wake up the next morning and leave. But we didn't wake up until the next morning. Because I remember after me and this girl ended up doing the duples tango. She ended up getting up and going to the bathroom and she never came back. As the party was still going on. So I remember I ended up getting dressed and I went downstairs to go look for her. I went to the kitchen. I went to the living room. I even went to the bathroom and she wasn't even there. I started to worry thinking, oh, maybe she left the party. But then that's when I realized one of the girls ended up walking up to me saying, hey, Bubba, the girl you were just making out with, is that like your buddy's girlfriend? What? The one I brought to the party? No, why? Well, like he just went into like the room with her and like, honestly, it's kind of weird. At that moment, I was in major shock. I thought maybe they were talking about something or talking behind my back. But then I remember I ended up going to the room that they were in. And when I knocked on it, there was no answer. Until finally, I ended up knocking again saying, yo, bro, you in there? And that's when this girl ends up answering the door, not wearing any clothing, by the way. And she looks at me saying, oh, sorry, Baba. I just wanted to like give him a turn. Give him a turn? At that moment, my buddy looks at me and he's like, Bubba, what are you doing, bro? You said get my own girl. And that's when I look at him questioning what in the world did he just say? And that's when I yelled back at him saying, bro, I already did this girl literally 10 minutes ago. At that moment, he ends up putting on his clothes right away. And he's like, wait, what? Wait, I, I didn't know that. What do you mean you didn't know that? You literally saw me making out with her literally like not even like half an hour ago. At that moment, he feels super guilty. And he ends up actually just leaving the party right away and said that he didn't want to ride from me. And at that moment, I was already sick of the party as well. So I ended up leaving as well. But as I was headed out the door, I remember this girl that ended up doing me and my buddy looks at me and says, wait, Bubba, don't leave. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay. Like I felt bad for him. I wanted to give him a turn because none of these girls liked him. You wanted to give him a turn. You know, you make yourself sound like an object is what I said to her. And well, honestly, she just looked back at me and just ended up walking away. I guess I made her feel pretty bad. But at the same time, it was really disgusting how me and my buddy basically shared the same hole. And if you guys never want to share the same hole as your buddy, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.